Igbo massacre. IPOP sends urgent warning to Yakub Gowon over massacring of Igbos in Biafra civil war. See explosive details. Oh, my people, how on a day? Yes, so this is today's broadcast. Uh, it's a pleasure reaching out to you once again. It's very, uh, it's very, very special day. I greet you now, well, uh, yes, so um, as many as listening to me this very special day, as many as that are. Uh, that have subscribed to our channels. We thank you. We appreciate you. It's been wonderful. Thank you so, so much. Yes, no be small team, my people. Um, now, I pop. Now, he they send this very urgent message to Yakubu Gowon because in interference, don't, you know, he don't too much. Most especially on the issue of this Piafran, uh, uh, on this behalf of my uh, exits, you know, so they can say, Oh, God, time don't reach for, for you to come on your mouth completely. No, they trick your mouth because now you you are the architect of the whole show. Oh, my people, now go fear, fear. All right, I'm not gonna waste time, I'm quickly enter the content as it be. But no, say, if you be a new person for this channel, make you quick, quick make you subscribe so that anytime we we'll upload any new videos we'll feel okay to know this is today's news let's go to the content the indigenous people of biafra ipop has once again stirred controversy this time leveling grave accusations against former Nigerian head of state, General Yakubo Kowon, retired. In a skating revoke, IPOP alleges that Gowon orchestrated a genocide against the Igbo people during the Biafran civil war, branding him a genocidist and condemning his recent remarks as self glorifications for the massacre of thousands. In a statement issued by IPOP spokesperson Emma Powerful, the group vehemently asserts that Gowon led what they term as the second bloodiest genocide after the Israel Holocaust against the Igbos between 1967 and 1970. This accusation comes in response to Gowon's comments during a meeting with President Bola Ahmed Tunuku, where he reportedly confessed to their criticism for his handing off the Biafran civil war, yet proceeded with a deadly campaign against the Biafran people. According to IPOP, Gowon's admission serves as a chilling reminder of the atrocity committed during that dark period of Nigerian history. They argue that why Gowon may bask in his own perceived glory, the scars of the genocide still haunt the Igbo community with the effect reverberating through generations till date till date people the Igbos will still be remembering all that transpired during the Biafran war we there you know they will then go still they remember because <laughs> because it was bloody it was bloody you see I I kept telling people that the the generation of the Biafran people or the or or, or the Biafran civil war 
we still not forget what happened to their forefathers. That is what is happening right now in the Southeast. And that is why you saw people like Nam De Kano, uh, 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 Simon Ekpa, you know, Ima Powerful and all of that. That's why you saw that they are fighting as seriously saying that no, 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 it no go happen. It happened for 97, it no go repeat itself again. In fact, enough is enough. Yes, that's why. I think I don't talk too much, my people, based on what has just happened right now. Uh, yes, so no be small matter. And uh, please, and um, please, and um, please, let's quickly, as a matter of fact, let's hear from you and then let's know what your take, what your advice, and what you think about all that has just transpired. It's been wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please don't forget your comments. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.